okay, Lindsay, um, I have my patients wear CGM all the time. The app will give a, a GMI and A1C equivalent as well as a 90-day average glucose. And oftentimes these numbers differ from each other and very often greatly differ from an HbA1c done on a lab. Would you value one of these pieces of information over the others? Yeah, actually I would. I would not rely on the A1c marker. That is just going to be some kind of algorithmically or mathematically derived number. I would let A1c be A1c, um, and you note that, that it's tremendously different, and then just really rely on the average glucose you don't need if you're getting your average glucose from a dynamic pattern like you're getting from the CGM, that's what the hemoglobin A1C is trying to give you in the first place. You know, hemoglobin A1C is attempting to give you your average over a period of time. Otherwise, just get the average that you can just get that from the CGM. 